363 days ago, I had the greatest honour of marrying my best friend. We are meant for each other. I can add no more to that. The only perspective I can offer is why I love Craig and want to spend the rest of my life with him. Craig fills my life with kindness. I know how much he loves me, but I also receive daily kindness from him, all in the most humble of ways. I love you, Craig. You too. To my wonderful husband, Craig, who has made me the happiest of women. It's a great pleasure to have you all here today. One of my colleagues hypothesised that my wife and I must love each other so much that we decided to get married twice. Uh, he was, of course, teasing, but I rather like that idea. Fee and I met in a cafe on the Gloucester Road. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, was I smitten. Since our first momentous meeting, Fee and I have grown together from fresh-faced 22-year-olds. We own our home and we live life our own way. With Fee's influence, that means living joyfully. Fee is convinced it is a core belief that there is no such thing as too much fun. Fee brings me out of myself. I am so much the better for it. And thank you for that, my love. It has actually been a, a real privilege as, as your friend to see how happy you make one another. Um, Fee, you are, you are fantastic for Craig. <laughs> you know when not to let him have his way <laughs> and you are beautiful intelligent and quick-witted all of the things that i thought craig wasn't <laughs> i jest craig i jest you, you you are in every way a perfect match for one another and you deserve every happiness um, craig asked me to keep it short and sweet so i will wrap up shortly but just to say, it really is an enormous privilege, Craig, to be asked to be your best man. You are a, a, an extraordinary gentleman, uh, and I, I think it's fair to say, I know you're still competitive, it's fair to say you've won this one. You <laughs> now, Fiona, what can I say about Fiona? Yep, she was a joy, and through school, always a joy. Entrance exams, GCSEs, a-levels, into med school, and boy, was I proud. When my daughter got married, I didn't lose the daughter. She's still very much a part of our lives. What I did do was to gain a real friend. Craig and I have become real friends. So Craig, welcome to our family. It's a real joy for us to share this happy moment. One year of married life, and may you be as lucky as we have been in your future lives together. I'm quite sure you will be. Let me not, to the marriage of true minds, admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when its alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose words are known, although his height be taken. Love's not time's spool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. On Waterloo Bridge, where we said our goodbyes, the weather conditions bring tears to my eyes. I wipe them away with a black woolly glove and try not to notice I've fallen in love. On Waterloo Bridge, I am trying to think. This is nothing, you're high on the charm and the drink. But the jukebox inside me is playing a song that says something different. And when was it wrong? On Waterloo Bridge, with the wind in my hair, I am tempted to skip. You're a fool, I don't care. The head does its best, but the heart is the boss. I admit it before I'm halfway across.